I'm Larry Anglesano reporting for Kit Planes Magazine. You know, an important part of a build project or any airplane that's been modified is getting an accurate weight and balance report. And the only real way to do that is to put the airplane up on a set of scales. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing here with this uh, RV-10 that's about ready to fly. And uh, Mark Welch, who's also building a pretty nice RV-10, found a nice set of scales, and uh, he's gonna tell us how to use them. Good. So we're here today, uh, we're going to uh, weigh an RV-10, which is getting ready for its first flight and it has to have uh, its weight and balance. So um, we, the um, local chapter, uh, 166, purchased a um, set of scales for the purpose of doing weight and balance for um, experimental aircraft. Uh, what we did is uh, I looked around and came up with this uh, Mitre Brothers machine tool, which makes uh, a lot of uh, car scales, you know, for, you know, you have four pads for that, uh, for weighing race cars and things like that. But they also make a derivative for airplanes, for either, uh, no, you know, uh, tri-gear or tailwheels. And this particular model was uh, very economically priced compared to some of the other ones. It does come, it's got a certification, uh, you know, it's been uh, calibrated and so forth. And uh, it's uh, meant specifically for what we're doing. It, like I say, it's got several nice functions. It's got a um, no nose wheel or tails wheel function. It has a center of gravity function. And it gives you the weights uh, of the, on the three pads. So what we've done here today is uh, we've rolled the, uh, this RV-10 up onto the pads. Uh, then we go into the unit itself, we turn it on, and we zero it out. Uh, we've already rolled it on here, so this is, this is gonna show some odd numbers here. Uh, but basically, you zero out the scales and then you roll the plane onto there, and uh, it'll give you the value of the weights of the three wheels, nose, left, and right, and the total weight. You can then store that information, and you can go to center of gravity, and uh, it'll store the weight. You then raise, in, a, in the case of a, a nose wheel, you then raise the nose wheel up 10 inches, and it'll calculate your uh, center of gravity height off of the, uh, the main gears. So that's just what we've done this morning, and uh, hopefully this will put uh, this RV-10 in shape to get certified. So what you'll also notice is we have these little homemade ramps. Um, one of our club members came up with the idea. Uh, the intent is that we can roll the plane up on these platforms before it rolls on to the actual uh, weights themselves, zero out the, uh, the scales, and then roll the, the plane on uh, clean. Uh, this can also work for the tail wheels. You can use this uh, in the rear side for that. Uh, but it's, again, it's a handy little uh, helpful uh, element and able to um, to uh, make the uh, weighing and balancing a little bit uh, easier. Watch it. So basically what you do is once you have the uh, weights for the uh, nose and left and right wheel, um, Vans provide you with a weight and balance uh, sheet where you input those values and in conjunction with uh, the datum uh, off of the um, note off of the uh, wings you can calculate the uh, the rest of weight and balance and uh, your your center of gravity uh, for the plane and this is uh, required before you actually uh, go for your certification. Uh, that's one of the things that the DAR will want to have uh, in your possession when uh, you come to have them look at your plane for that, for that final time. So it's an important tool and one of the last things you do before you go flying. Mm -hmm.